It's a matter of time. Dark skies and howling winds. The sun is coming, gone. Wood stains will surely fall. Chaos is coming. Chaos is coming down. It's gonna The things I do for you. <laughs> Thank you for organising all this. Thank you for coming. Oh, no, it's brilliant. It's such a good event. This is it. The start line. x -pier. I'm competing against an elite field of hardcore pilots, but I'll do my best to survive long enough to bring you the story. It's going to be epic. It's gonna It's Keith's first time here, but I know what we'll be up against. Talented pilots who are hungry for success, fighting brutal weather in an unforgiving landscape. First section is 20 k's along the flat to get yourself up to the main peak. Yeah, I know you're watching that live tracking and you're wondering what's happening. Why are all these pilots just running past Hamilton? Well, <laughs> you try to run 20 k's and then walk up a mountain. <laughs> I'm doing my best here and I'm sweating. <laughs> it's all right, feeling okay, but. Definitely haven't got speed uphill. I'll catch them in the air. The next turn point is 94 kilometers away. There's no obvious route to follow. You make it up as you go along. Quick race recharge. Kerry's built the van, so having some highly nutritious lunch. I might fly later. I need to take mandatory gear, which is that bag and a bit of water. So I hit the road. Hey, I just got up to pass at the top of this big walk to the wonderful smells of Kerry's cooking. Secrets out. <laughs> Kerry can actually cook flow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your ball's over there. <laughs> Get your ball out. That one. Yeah, you got the dog What have I got? Dog ball for me. Ooh. 
fire food. Look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> So Courtney's chilling. He's not yeah. doing any more hiking. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help up the hill, dude. That's all right. That was good. On the walking down, I was like, why don't I bring my glider with me? <laughs> I was like, why didn't I bring I, it? I thought I'd mention it on the way up, and then I thought, no, that would be too cruel, because yeah. actually it was quite a, quite a hard walk. Maybe we can do a little glide down the valley in a few k's, finish the day off um, comfortably at the back of the field somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to catch up a bit tomorrow. Um, I can make much more ground when it's flying, so... See you soon, maybe I'll be in the air. That was just a little sneaky hike and glide from that one up there. Managed to flick around the corner and glide down the valley and uh, cut off a good piece of walking. Um, the trail that I've landed on, it's just over there and leads up to the end of the valley. <laughs> they sent me a photograph of the van all bust up. <laughs> and it was a doctored photograph of another van that had been broken, bust up, just winding me up. At any rate, they're off to enjoy the beer. I've sent them ahead up the pass because there's an awesome restaurant in the middle of nowhere. It's up on the Col de Isbegay, and uh, I thought they could go and have themselves a beer and chill out. And uh, maybe I can make it tonight. Um, I'm just gonna put in some miles and get as close as I can to the top of the pass. And then uh, we'll find a, a place to stop for the night. I've got an hour and a half left, and this is my usual happy time in the day where, ah, oh, just love this place, it looks beautiful and I'm feeling strong still and I'm just using up the last bit of my strength and then I'll chill. Look at that. Oh, it's getting near the end of the day, got half an hour left but check at the spot my team has found for wild camping. We've got a river down here. And we're in the forest. Brilliant. So, look forward to a good evening. There's me team. There's me team. Take it, take it.